Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We are on Jujitsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 5. It's called Premature Death. I don't know what that means necessarily, but the way that that last episode ended, initially I thought that that was going to be the moment we start to see Ghetto kind of veer off in the direction that we know him to be in now, where he wants to just wipe out all humans. But the post credit scene on that episode almost seemed like Gojo would have went that way. Like, he's like, right now I'm ready to wipe out all these people in this room. Do you think we should do it? And Ghetto was like, no, there's no point. They're just common believers in that there needs to be a point as jujitsu sorcerers. Now, obviously, fast forward to present day, his point is they're useless. Maybe they can't be trusted. You know, I don't really care for monkeys, so let's just take them all out. But at that time, it just it didn't seem like he was going to go on to become the person that he is now. So I'm really curious how we get there. So this apparently is one year later and uh, we'll just have to dive in and see what happens. That's actually a crazy level up. So now he can automate his limitless technique so he can use it constantly and it just determines what's actually a danger and what's not. Him almost dying was probably the best thing that could have happened to him because now it's got his mind working in a way where he's really trying to become so powerful. Something like that can never happen again. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. So maybe I was right, because it does seem like that moment is what's replaying in his head. Seeing those people that were just cheering on the horrible thing that happened and him feeling like my whole point is to protect people and this is what people are doing. So even though in that post credit scene, it seemed like he was standing on the right side of things, whereas Gojo wanted to kill everybody and he was saying, no, there's got to be a point. He's not really against it. He's just got to create a point in his head, a reason, something that he can stand behind and then he'll be OK with it. And it feels like that's what he's kind of walking himself towards right now. <laughs> I mean, hops on the hub and just searches up some BBWs. Okay, I can feel you, bro. All right, get it in. Is that not the same girl that asked that to Toto when he was a kid? どちら様。特級術師、スクモユキ。私、高専的嫌い。冗談。でも。She's going to start to give him ideas. Like I said, he was already kind of going down that path a little bit, thinking about that situation that him and Gojo were in. And it, it, it clearly pissed him off. And now he's run into someone who's like, I want to create a world where cursed energy can't even be born. And like he just said, that it comes from these different emotions and stuff leaking from humans. And it builds up like sediment and then it gets created. And so he's going to start to see that humans are clearly the problem. And without them, we wouldn't have these issues. Okay, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Okay, so she's not on board with just wiping out the human race. But this is where he's going to get his idea. He's like, okay, like she's got these ideas, but what about idea number three? We just get rid of them. Then we don't have to worry about it. It doesn't seem like he knew that curse energy doesn't come from sorcerers in the same way to create curses. So he's learning this now. Oh boy. Okay. So this, yeah, this is, this is 
This is adding fuel to the fire that's already kind of there. ノロイは生まれない。非術師を皆殺しにすれば良いじゃないですか。というか多分それが一番イージーだ。非術師を間引き続け生存戦略として術師に適応してもらう。だが残念ながら私はそこまで行かれてない。非術師は嫌いかい
聞きます万世教は解体されたはずだが別の団体でも根っこは同じさああ,あ皆さんお待たせしました He's about to body everybody, I'm pretty sure. So, no, that's not. You're not scared of a danger. So, I'm not. Sate, 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 I'm not. 自分の力にも気づいてるんじゃない全員家は才能大好き君のお父さんが全員家に対して取っておいた最高のカードだったんだよムカつくでしょあいつがどこで何してようと興味ない何年も会ってないから顔も覚えてない君はどうしたい全員家行きたいそこに行けば積み木は幸せになれるのか 100% ないそれは断言できるでもめぐみくんには多少無理してもらうかも頑張ってね強くなってよ僕に置いていかれないくらい先生も寝るんだな当たり前でしょ何言ってんのあんたお起きた So it's almost like he was dreaming and kind of reliving the past and that was our flashback Okay Alright I kind of like how they did that and it's also interesting that he seeked out sought out Sometimes I just use words in weird places but anyways he sought out Fushiguru because of the fact that he had killed his father he knew that the son had abilities and he knew that he could become very powerful so it makes me feel like we got a lot of levels to go when it comes to fushiguru and he's going to really be impressive at some point i mean he already kind of is but it's only going to get better Ooh, all right i'm really into this season this season has been absolutely amazing so far i enjoyed the first season it was obviously really good and it went into action like immediately in the first episode, but it took me some time throughout that season to really get attached to the characters, the storyline, the idea of the curses and stuff like that. As cool as I thought that it was, it just it took a little bit of time. But by the time the end of that episode or the, the, the end of the first season came, the movie and now the second season, like it locks you in, especially from the movie through these first so many episodes and seeing the flashback and stuff like you're, you're attached so much more and you have so much more of an understanding of what's going on. I like this. This is actually really, really dope. I'm excited. This is going to be an amazing season. And arguably, you know, so far, if it continues on this path, it might end up being one of my favorite seasons of anime that I've watched yet. And I mean, I've only watched a handful of anime. And there are some really good ones out there. I've watched Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Death Note. Um, what else are we watching? Hunter x Hunter, which I really, I'm enjoying the, the Ant Chimera arc. So there's a lot of good ones out there that I've seen, and uh, this this is this is gonna be up there. I think this is gonna be up there. So I appreciate you guys for stopping in. Shout out to my patrons. I keep forgetting. Hopefully by this episode, I've updated the credits that roll at the end of these videos, where I give a shout out to you guys because I know we've had some new patrons since I've last updated. But I'm usually edited like a good amount ahead, so that's the only reason why it takes a while, and you might not see the update there for for you know a minute. But I do appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one, homies. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. Smoking so much, it's like all I show. I don't think they understand. I blow that flower like Mario. I keep that fire in my hand. I just be rolling, that's all I know. I don't think they understand. I just be rocking the boat. Got me a bop in a hoe. I'm locked in the coast. I got me a shot in my nose. Everything I drop is cold. I be like, who wanna blow on an L? We hit the hotel. A couple of bitches, a little Ciroc. Got one of my niggas. We feeling the vibe. This comfortable pimp, yo. Woo!